Hello, this is Mitchell Kutra, and this is my Module 3 EDL 3 video uh, interview of a teacher, principal, and para in the special ed department. Uh, principal, I, the uh, interview was Tom Perkins, teacher, Elizabeth Jones, and para Mike Bailey. So uh, with the child find process, the identification of uh, students that need special education services, uh, I got different answers from all three. I know Tom said that, you know, a student either needs services or they don't. Sometimes, uh, sometimes at the high school level, we try to reach uh, to identify, not necessarily in the lower level uh, achieving students but like in the gifted program um, we try to test and identify as many as possible even if maybe they're just a good student and we we try to force them into the gifted program um, Elizabeth said that it's difficult the high school level to identify but we have had to uh, at several times several times a year um, it's typically done at the lower level one thing that she fights as a teacher and IEP manager is when they enroll, um, if they don't actually click on the uh, request for special education services or say they require it, it isn't until a few weeks or days that we they get all the paperwork in to do, see that this young young person's been identified. So um, usually they're placed in enrollment. But sometimes people don't, when they enroll in a new school, don't know that they have to identify. And then it takes a few days to a week to, before the paperwork gets in their place in the right part. Um, Mike says the parent is really not involved in the process that much of identifying special ed education students. Um, but he does help support the observing behavior. So if he's in the classroom with another student and he sees the identifying behaviors he can be part of that process um, talking about the more most challenging part is with the principal and the teacher is the the IMP the IEPs um, principal has to make sure that the IEP managers have what they need and have done, done everything and check with checking on the regular ed teachers that they are actually enforcing and making the accommodations that they're supposed to um, as a special education teacher, it's the whole wearing multiple hats of trying to enforce the IEP, support your students, working with teachers to, and uh, helping them, and also teaching classes on top of it. Um, as a parent, it's, it's a little different because they're actually in the day-to-day -day operations. Um, different students have different accommodations. Um, one thing Mike does is work with a lot of behavioral kids and behavioral issues to make it different, difficult. Uh, also working with the different teachers, um, the teachers and their styles and their willingness to abide by the IEP. Uh, looking at the most rewarding part, all three of them said something to the fact of watching your special education student graduate is a huge reward um, as a as an educator, uh, smiles when the kids succeed. Uh, Elizabeth said that she re recalls a couple months ago a young man saying to her, Miss Jones, I could not have done this without you. And that's huge. Uh, Mike, Mike also looked at you know day-to-day -day success. He's working with these kids individually every day and just seeing the progress that they have so when it comes to supervision of staff, I know Tom was adamant about making sure that you know everyone's roles and know what you can do to support. So know what what with what these teachers need to do and what the department chairs need to do and what the social worker need to do and do everything you need to support them. Uh, also, putting trusting department chairs in. You have to know that the people you put in place will do what they're supposed to. Um, as a teacher, 
making sure that the staff knows what uh, what accommodation needs to be made and making sure they all know that we always do what's best for the students that we serve. That's what we do. Um, and supervision of staff, so as a parent, you want someone who will be there and be supportive. Be there when you need them and be supportive when you make a decision. As far as parent relations, they all three started with the same thing as relationships are key. Relationships are the biggest thing um, in working with parents. Um, knowing that whatever we do is in the student's best interest even if they don't necessarily agree with it right away. Uh, one thing Elizabeth said was we need to embrace the home culture. Uh, many of my, our students have different home cultures and home values that we don't necessarily see but we do need to make an effort to learn and adapt our styles to make them more comfortable. Another thing with that Mike brought up would be to gain trust. So you gain trust with the student, you you gain trust with the parents, and they'll be more supportive with you. Uh, working with the regular ed teachers, uh, as a principal, you have to make sure the IEP is met. Um, some some are good, some are bad, but at the end of the day, it's law, and it's against the law if we flat out refuse to follow the IEP and that's one thing that an administrator has to be able to make the teachers aware of. Um, when it came to Elizabeth said that um, you have to be kind of selective when enrolling your students in certain, te certain teacher classes and outside of the special ed department when you want to put them into and integrate them into other classes and some teachers are great with providing um, accommodations and creating a least restrictive environment and some are not. So you have to be selective on who you put your students within um, because you want them to succeed not to to fail. So get put them in the best opportunity to succeed. Um, the role of a pair is to help and support the teachers. Um, most most of the students have the, uh, the ability to succeed in these classes and the teachers have their best intentions but some fall short and the pair's job is to bridge the gap. Um, looking for advice for a first year administrator is uh, for the principal don't try to bully your way into fixing problems. Don't jump straight into a situation and say this is how it's going to go this is what we're going to do. We've got to fix this right now. Um, if you're a first year admin and you're going to talk to a veteran teacher about a problem, that's not the way to do it. You need to build a relationship with those teachers. Know that they are supported by you, but understand why that you are making these changes or having them adjust the way they do things. Um, as a teacher, uh, Elizabeth said, you know, as a first year admin, you need to find your weakness and turn into your strength. So if it's uh, relationships, building relationships, work on developing your relationship building skills. If it's knowledge base, work on building your personal knowledge. Just uh, continue to develop and grow as a first year admin and work on your weaknesses. Um, as a para, uh, what Mike is looking for is someone who's around when we need him be supportive of decisions and policies and knowledgeable on what to do uh, because certain situations come up and they need your the support of the administrator. Um, role of special ed teacher and ad, admin, so as a principal you enforce the IEP, you work with all staff to create an environment of learning and be supportive and be there uh, for your teachers. Um, as a teacher, you know, administer the IEP. So you actually do the IEP meetings, um, you make the accommodations, and then you make sure that everyone who has that student understands what needs to happen when they're in their class. Um, as a para, you work with the kids. Um, 
work the kids who need the accommodations and help the teachers. You are an extra support system for those teachers and those students. But when it came, comes to a desired characteristics and administration, uh, Tom said patience. You need to be patient as an administrator. Be patient with your teachers because they will need guidance. Be patient with the students, of course. Be patient with the parents because you're going to hear a lot from parents. And the system in general. Sometimes the system is frustrating and it can um, become monotonous or some things don't seem to make sense at the moment but you have to be patient and know the systems are there for a reason uh, as a teacher looking for an administrator a cultivator of skill, skills um, you must build the staff to create a better learning environment so help the people underneath of you grow for the better, uh, better use of time and skills. So help them grow to become better staff members and better teachers. Um, as a para, the big thing is support and openness. Um, and as an admin, you need to be there and you need to be able to help whenever needed and um, being able to have someone to go to that does not have an agenda except for the betterment of the students. So this was my observation of the three interviews. Um, I think that I did learn a, learn a lot from the anecdotes and the stories told by these three people. Um, Working with special education is a complicated process, but uh, in the end, done right, it makes the school system a better place and you can make a big difference in people's lives that have trouble doing it on their own. Thank you.